Welcome back to VacNews, the video channel for industrial vacuum applications. My name is Wolfgang Wieland. We are here at Grafenberg in a limestone plant in uh, the Nuremberg area in Bavaria. I brought you today a MaxVac Compact 110, an 11 kilowatt industrial vacuum cleaner and our VEK1000 which is an intercept topper with 1000 liter collection capacity. We are here in the crushing plant and I will show you today how we can extract limestone residues from below the conveyor belts. Uh, the suction material goes into the intercept topper, remains in the intercept topper, and only the finest material, I would say probably here less than 3% of the extracted material, goes through to the vacuum cleaner and remains in the collection drum of the industrial vacuum cleaner. What we showed you this far was how to extract large amounts of material with a DN80 suction hose. Uh, then we showed you how to do floor cleaning with a floor cleaning nozzle. The next thing we'd like to show you is how to extract material from under conveyor belts or machines with a smaller hose, here a DN60 millimeter suction hose. The MaxVac Compact 110 is an 11 kilowatt industrial vacuum cleaner. This unit here is equipped with an electric control panel in order to uh, be able to do the automatic filter cleaning device and in order to control the filling level probe in the collection drum of the vacuum cleaner. The industrial vacuum cleaner, the MaxVac Compact, has above the suction inlet a pocket filter a very efficient, a high efficient pocket filter designed for dusts of dust class M. The filter can be cleaned with the pneumatic filter cleaning device, the air shock filter cleaning as we call it. This is automatic but it can also be triggered manually of course. Uh, we have here an integrated uh, cyclonic separator in order to separate the material at the suction inlet. As you can see here, the connection hose goes to the intercept topper, the VEK1000, and what you see here is the suction hose that goes into the intercept topper. On top of the intercept topper we have a cyclonic separator, which means that we do not have a filter here in the intercept topper, just a mechanical separator, but the A3Z as this cyclonic separator head is called, is extremely efficient and as I said before we have a separation degree of up to 98, in some cases 99%. That means 99, up to 99% of the extracted material will remain in the intercept topper and only the rest, 1, 2, maybe 3% goes through to the industrial vacuum cleaner. When the intercept topper is full it can be transported with a forklift truck, forklift truck to an area where it can be discharged we will show you this later, of course. The MaxVac Compact 110 is equipped with a lifting and lowering device for the collection drum and Manuel will show you now how the collection drum can be taken out of the unit. If you care to take a look, there's hardly any material in the collection drum, maybe 10 liters, maybe less. The intercept topper is full and that means that really only about 1% of 
of the extracted material was sucked through to the vacuum cleaner into the collection drum. Almost everything remained in the intercept hopper. The unit which we have here is equipped with a filter for dust class M. There's also a version available of the MaxVac for dust class H for very dangerous dusts like asbestos for example. This unit is then called MaxVac Compact H Atex 3D. It's not only suitable for dangerous dust but also for inflammable or explosive kinds of dust in zone 22. Well, the job is done. The VAK-1000 is full and the next step is now to empty it and we will show you now how to do this. Please, Manuel. Well, that's it. The job is done. The VAK-1000 is empty. Thanks for looking in at VAC News, the video channel for industrial vacuum applications. And I'll see you again at the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.